Gonna miss you guys. Uh, oh, big man. man. <laughs> People often ask us if life on the road is lonely. Don't get me wrong, there are times when it can be, but whether you travel alone or as a couple, you'll meet the best like-minded people. Chris and Marianne are the type of people that leave have zero a big hole when they go. Today, we get to share some precious time with our travel family. I've learned that people will forget what you've said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Maya Angelou. Good morning. Another beautiful morning here in Baja. Welcome to our little bit of paradise. This morning, we are actually going out on a little boat ride uh, with one of the guys that was selling stuff. His son's got a boat and uh, we think we're going to go out. They're going to catch some clams or something. Um, so we thought we'd join them for a few hours this morning. The boat has arrived. Are you ready, Chess? See you later, Betty boy. Buenos dias. Por favor, tu llama? Jose. 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 Y Luis. Luis. Jose and Luis. So yeah, we're off. We're uh, doing two, three hours on a boat. We're gonna just gonna relax, enjoy. I'm not really sure what the plan is, but we're just going with it. Maybe we is, see some dolphins. The plan is there is no plan. There you go. They have eyes of like ninjas. We're just going along and all of a sudden they stood up and they were like, look over there. And there are dolphins, Chris and Cheska, frantically trying to zoom it in. And oh, there they are. Oh, look, it's amazing. You can see the, the blowhole and you can see um, their backs going over. Oh, there they go. And they're glistening in the sunlight this morning. Because as you can see, the, the, the sun is reflecting off the sea. It's just a perfect morning. So when we arrived, we drove down this road and this is one of the bays. You can see all the RVs parked up on the beaches. And this is what Baja is about. Beaches, sea, dolphins, and of course, good company. The guys were just saying that uh, in the summer, these beaches are packed with uh, Mexicans, local people. And uh, in the winter now, it's mostly Americans and a couple of Brits. <laughs> Look at that for a little private secluded beach here on the back of this island. Even though the sun's not out yet, look at the clarity of that water. You can see the bottom here. Looks like we're rocking up on Dog Island here. Cast away. <laughs> Wilson! I'm your Wilson for today. <laughs> Interestingly, Jose was just saying that this island is called Dog Island. And the reason it's called Dog Island is because the Americans down here that have a, a pet, a dog, when it passes away, they bring it to the island. And apparently they bury it by these big rocks. It's like a dog tomb. That's why it's called Dog Island. So Jose's got some clams here. Look at the size of that. That is ridiculous. Very, like, very heavy. Very heavy. Oh, Reina, the queen. Jose's, Jose's opening the clams here and uh, we've got some hot sauce and I think we're just going to eat them out of the shell. Is that what we're doing? I actually don't. Have you ever had that before? I've had oysters, but I've not had raw clams before. I've never had a raw clam before. But hey ho, when in Mexico. <laughs> Wow, that's a real... That's amazing. And he's saying that these aren't the biggest ones that he get. He, uh, he actually went and caught them himself. You can't get fresher and better than that. And these guys know what they're doing. So we're just going with the uh, experience, hey? I've got to be honest, if I was trying to open them and clean them out, I would probably have lost a hand by now. <laughs> uh, there is considerable skill in the speed yeah. and the dexterity of how he's doing this. 
A little bit of sauce. A little bit of sauce. sauce. Okay. Yeah. Oh, a little mix of sauce. Two different types. Okay. And then it's ready. <laughs> it actually tastes better once you've drunk the, like the, the lime juice, the flavour of the actual clam is, is better. Yeah. If that makes sense. It tastes like a scallop almost. Yeah. Pretty good. I had a little crunchy bit in it. Maybe it's a little crab or something. But... <laughs> That's a lot. Sir. That's a lot. Just, you just all in one go. Keep it back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Cheska. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, you and you and Chris are mm. seafood eaters. <laughs> that is so good. All the flavours popping in it's your mouth. It's slimy like an oyster. It's much firmer, like a firm scallop. And then with the lime and the salsa, it just makes it pop. That is so good. I think they really fun. are enjoying it. You know how some people actually say to us, do you really enjoy it? They are loving it. They're, they're going in for I'm more. I'm having this, another one. It's, it's probably the maddest breakfast I've ever had in my life. <laughs> so there you go, we come onto the beach. Look at this. Isn't this just the perfect spot? We were laughing, saying it's a little bit like Castaway, and we just needed Wilson. And then I remembered the shorts on I've got underneath of Wilson. Oh, Marianne, oh, it's our Wilson. <laughs> what a fantastic spot to stop. So this is the uh, the dog cave where they bury the dogs. Jess actually said it's probably because uh, there's no wild animals, I don't think, on this uh, on this island, so they wouldn't be dug up by predators and things. So what a beautiful last resting place for your pet. Oh, the sun's starting to come out now. It's these moments that are really special, sharing experiences and uh, with our travel family, you know, Ben and Cheska, we met them on the road in Turkey. And uh, as we travel, we meet so many wonderful people. And uh, it's moments like this that we'll remember and be able to talk to them about and share those memories for many years to come. Just to give you guys a bit of perspective, that is the beach that we're staying on. You see the two vans right on the end there. It's pretty small, but that's where we are. And then there is another beach on the other side there. Muchos gracias. Bye. What an amazing trip. Definitely recommended. It was 500 pesos each. Okay, so one thing we've never done is gone paddle boarding and Ben and Cheska have got a paddle board. Marianne's trying to hold it in the wind. Is she going to take off? What are you doing, love? I'm trying to get it in the water and not break the fin. Oh my goodness. Are you, do you want to paddle or do you want me to paddle? I want to paddle. And I'll film I'm you. I'm a control freak, remember? I want you to sit here with your buttocks here. We could probably both stand on the green. No, 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 no. It's windy. I wouldn't stand up in this wind. Okay, it's a little bit windy today, guys, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. We might end up back at Dog Island, which is over there. Can I just say that this water is absolutely okay. flipping freezing, and if, if you capsize this, I'm going to have a heart attack. Let's go! <laughs> Jessica, are you actually going to swim and follow us with I the am, camera? I am, yeah. Are you That's mad? brave. It's cold. Oh, Come I'm on, Jessica. Good. You're supposed I'm to be swimming. Around. Where am I going? I don't know, but you're drifting, love. You're drifting. Am I going this way? No, we're going this way. This is good for my core. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're not making this look beautiful, are we? We're about to crash land into some rocks. 
<laughs> I don't want to crush land because I don't want to damage it, so we need to glide gracefully. We made it all the way to the petroglyphs. We made it to you, just around the corner. Actually, we haven't come far because we were parked there. It's not that far, really. So apparently, Jessica said that there are petroglyphs, the old ancient carvings on the rocks around here. I think we have to climb up there, maybe. Are you coming up, love? Oh, you made it. <laughs> Where are these petroglyphs then? Right, these petroglyphs are... See this big middle rock? Oh yeah. And that one to the right of it. There, there's it's got the stuff up there. Yeah. I oh, will so go up and have a look. You, yeah, you stand up and look on there. They're all on the top. Oh really? Oh these these guys are these guys are making these guys are making us climb rocks now. Right, come on, Chess, off to you. you they don't relaxing, look the most stable, do they? Relaxing beach holiday. Yeah, exactly. Oh my God, it's a turtle. A turtle. Yeah. Clear as day, it's a turtle. turtle. I love turtles. Did you draw that for us? <laughs> My drawing's not that good. <laughs> wow, that's, wow, that's cool. amazing. We've climbed up the side there. There's Ben. There's more on this rock here. There's a couple of little ones there. That's amazing. And then looking back down, that's Trudy and Sophia, Ben and Cheska's van there. And this is the bay we've been parked up at. That is not a bad view, guys, is it? Look at that. It always looks so much better when the sun comes out. Ben's paddling back against the wind. Look at that, he's done that before, hasn't he? He's going out, he's not getting... <laughs> he's drifting. He is. After buying those lovely huge prawns and these guys brought some fish, Ben's gonna light his little fire called Linda. <laughs> He's got a bag of wood. Old supply of wood. And we're doing a bit of an outside cook tonight. It's a bit blowy. We won't we won't set fire to the shelter. Move <laughs> it over here a little bit. I bet the wind's the wind's going that way, so we'll, yeah. we should be fine. Right, let's get him. So yeah, look at the size of these prawns here. I've peeled them all, taken out all the poop sacks. They're ready to go. We've got a big bowl of guacamole again. When in Mexico, eat guacamole. That's a great little fire. It is really, really good. We only used it for the first time last week and it oh, just worked perfectly. That's what you call That's a match. Amazing. That's caught, there we go. There you go. We are fire. onward. Fire in the right place, not in Trudy. That's what makes a change, <laughs> yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> Two fires this week. Yeah, one exactly. One in the van, one out of the van. One, yeah. The best van life gadget ever, if you want to cook, is the Ridge Monkey. It's just absolutely amazing. You can do everything in it. And a little fire on the beach with that view. Cool, and the cool. sun is just going down. I reckon this is the life, guys. What do you reckon? Is, yeah, you can get used to this. Hey? Eh? Oh, are they looking? Oh, they're looking good. We've got some cooked there already. Look at those. Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, Marion's on the phone to Aunt Julia. I'm on the phone to Auntie Julia. Hello, Aunt Julia. Hello, Auntie Julia. <laughs> Auntie Julia. <laughs> She's giving you a wave. Famous <laughs> Aunt Julia. And what sort of fish have we got, guys? We have sea bass, I think. Sea bass? Sea mm. bass. Sea bass. bass. Also bought from the fish man. Yeah. Amazing. He's come through a number of times. Isn't he? It's just lovely. You pass up on the beach and the guys just come, bring you the fish. You never have to leave. Okay, now we're being creative. We're chucking the prawns and garlic butter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's more garlic butter with prawns, to be fair. Oh, but it would taste good, <laughs> though, wouldn't it? It would taste good. Okay, we got... <laughs> 
garlic butter prawns. I'm going in for the test. I'm just taking one straight out of the pot here. Are they good, Chess? So good. So good. Oh. Like that, really that is just like yeah you don't need anything garlic butter and prawns heaven you can actually taste the smoke a little bit from the fire as well mm. it's another beautiful day here in baja and today our time on this wonderful beach is coming to an end but fear not we're going to another beach uh, yeah, we're gonna go and meet Nate and Kim with Ben and Cheska because it's Nate's birthday. So we feel it only right that we have a little bit of a beach party tonight. Are you ready to hit the road, guys? Yeah. All set. Born ready. Oh. All right, let's rock and roll. Okay, so we're just coming up to the first police stop of the day. Hola. 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 Ahora retornar en la playa. Gracias. Gracias. Very friendly. Yeah. A lot of army on the road today. I've never seen so many army trucks. So there you go. Ben and Cheska meet Nick and Kim. <laughs> <laughs> and we've created a little bit of a, a little camp here. We've created a box from the wind. Nate's giving Ben a fishing lesson. Very first one. And we're going to go and see if we can catch dinner, aren't we, guys? Cast you a tool. And just in case yeah, it all goes summer. wrong, we've still got some prawns left over from yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lots of fish yeah. as well. <laughs> we like all the food in the store. So we have beef, we have pork, we have <laughs> sausage. <laughs> Marianne's staying to look after the dogs and the vans and we're gonna go catch dinner people yeah, let's, go. let's go it's very blowy if my hat stays on today it'll be a miracle <laughs> <laughs> but we're uh, we're heading over this uh sand bank and we're gonna go down to the end of the island there we're, we're crossing the water i think the tide's in oh my god how cold is that <laughs> <laughs> it's quite deep. I'm fresh. It's freezing. Oh. It's a beautiful spot, but it's uh, yeah, the water is not warm. We're in the mangroves. Oh my goodness! Flipping out. Where are we going, guys? Oh, that is beautiful. And that's where we're parked over there. It's just amazing. Yeah? It is absolutely amazing. It is definitely our own little paradise here. Yeah. Don't fall on the cactus. Look at the spikes on those things. It's not even if you, you can grab hold of something if you slip. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to grab oh. hold of that. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what are we doing? We've come round to the end of the island because it's not uh, it's not so windy here. So game on, boys! Let the competition begin. That's the magic prawn. That is. That's going to catch me. That's going to win me the competition with these boys. Ben's caught the first thing. He's caught the tree. <laughs> and. The tide has gone out. We don't need to swim so much, guys. The welcoming committee's out. Hey, baby. <laughs> Nate, ca Nate caught the only fish. Of course. 
There you go. Whoa! Happy birthday, mate. Oh, thank you, guys. <laughs> How good is this cake? With that view, and of course this company. We're checking on birthday boy. Birthday boy's cooking dinner. Oh my goodness! You started with a snack platter. Started with some simple snacks. Simple snacks, <laughs> mate. <laughs> so I have some tuna tartare that I just made myself. Some chips, some nuts. Some cured meats as well. This looks amazing. Chips, Nate, Nate has been cooking on his birthday, and this is just the appetite. I made the guacamole if that helps. <laughs> yeah, <I'm just> <laughs> it's essential, especially for the Mexican vibe. The guacamole is essential. Yeah. So. Cheers. Cheers! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Happy my birthday. friend! Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and wow, look at this food. It's just a little starter. Well, you legend. made a mean guacamole. A mean well. guacamole, but look at that view. Jessica, you're gonna do the guacamole song. Oh no. What's the guacamole song? Guacamole. Guac, guac, guacamole, mole. With a beer in hand, a great view, and the best company, I couldn't have felt more relaxed. I started thinking about all the wonderful people we've met on our travels and the lasting memories we've made together. And we couldn't have asked for a more perfect day. Okay, sure. If I'd caught a bigger fish than Nake, it would have been a better day. But just being here, who's complaining? Okay, we have got all of our lights up. We've each put a set up and it actually looks like Christmas. So Nake's birthday is having a proper celebration. We've got our new barbecue out, which Nake is using. It's a little bit like bonfire night here. It's a good job we're not by the Palapas yeah, exactly. last night. That would have gone. Oh, we got the prawns going. Well, I reckon we got a, a bit of a crazy dinner going on. Thanks, Nake. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, birthday boy. I think it's the best birthday. Uh, I don't think Nate will forget his Baja birthday. And as we laughed into the night, we decided that tomorrow we'd all head to the other beach to spend one last night together before our travels take us in different directions. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers. <laughs> it's going amazing. We've got the shrimp on the barbecue. We've got the barracuda and the other fish on there as well. I caught it freshly myself yesterday, so it's going to be the best it's fish ever. It's bare naked. Best fish ever. This is a good spot. I've enjoyed being here. Isn't this a cool spot? Best park up ever. Could be more relaxed if I tried. Peel the avocado, form the avocado. <laughs> Cheska's dancing in the kitchen. <laughs> Guys, I want to say thank you for such a fabulous week. And uh, here's to happy, safe travels and to our travel family. Cheers. 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 We're going to miss you all. Yeah, we're going to miss you guys too. Yeah, we're going to miss you so much. It's been really lovely hanging out. Oh. Very quiet, right? And it's and not going to be... It's going to be very quiet. <laughs> yeah, Kim, you're so noisy. <laughs> I don't think that's what they're saying. <laughs> so we're, I'm yeah, just, I'm just, I'm just going to hear uh, Chris' voice in the morning. I'm so loud. <laughs> hey, how are you guys? <laughs> What a place to wake up to. We're sad we're leaving today. It's our last day, we're heading north. We're gonna have to say goodbye to our friends. We're up bright and early. The sun is just coming up over the ocean there. We've got the seagulls eating the clams there. Marianne's just cleaning the barbecue from last night. What a perfect spot. Perfect friends. Yeah. And it's going to be really sad to say to the goodbye to these guys today. There we go. And I'm really going to miss that view. The time has come to say goodbye to all these lovely people. Oh, we can't go. I'm going to miss you guys. Oh, oh. Keep in touch, man. We will Big man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cheers, man. Oh, thanks, <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. yeah. You guys Chris and Marianne are the type yeah. of people that we have zero a big hole in these Oh. <laughs> we had mixed emotions as we waved goodbye. On the one hand, we felt sad with our adventures taking us in opposite directions. We know it'll be years until we see each other again. Yet, on the other hand, we felt excited. Excited knowing that the next chapter of our around the world drive is fast approaching. As we start the journey north, I felt that nervous excitement, the kind you get in your stomach when you're heading to that job interview or on that first date. But as we say, the best times in life are when you step beyond your fears.